Yo guys, and welcome to Ricardo Tormo Circuit, aka Valencia. So uh, we're here in the new 2023 Porsche, and we're going to run a 20 minute race here and just kind of give you a feel for the track, a sense of what the track entails. And if you're looking for a summary, what is it like? Well, it's kind of halfway, it's like half Kyalami, half Misano is the best way I could describe it. Uh, nice wide curbing and runoff areas like Misano, so if you make a mistake, it's not the most punishing track, but uh, a lot of the corner layouts remind me of uh, Kyalami as well. So uh, really an excellent, excellent circuit. And uh, the track record here, a 1 minute 30. And pretty easy for me in practice sessions to run in the low 130s. So I'm certain that the aliens and those of you dedicated to uh, setups will be in the one high 120s in no time whatsoever. So yeah, really, really fun circuit. And hopefully that comes through in this video. We are running just before, or just after sunrise rather, Wow, the AI breaks early there. This is my first AI race here. I've just run practice sessions so far to kind of get used to the flow of the course. Whoa, okay there, Nissan. This is the hardest corner on the track for sure. Subscribe to Sim Racing 604, my favorite YouTube channel. Take a run to the outside here. Nissan blocking me at every possible pass. Interesting. All right. So we should be settled into somewhat of a groove here. With about 18 minutes left to go in this race. So racing down the start finish straight. We are coming into a medium speed left hander here. I usually take this in third in the Porsche. And I couldn't finish as wide as I had hoped there because that Nissan was there. And then we go into one of the slowest corners on the course here. Turn two, all the way down to first gear. Nissan just refuses to let go. We're going to go full throttle across this left-hander and then set up for a double right. The first one, I take it second gear, try and finish wide and stay outside, coming in for another second gear corner here. A little bit of yaw action there. And then we go into a first, a little bit of a tricky corner here. It always seems like it should be sharper than it actually is. You can finish wide there. Then we're going to go full throttle through this left-hander, setting up wide and breaking about halfway down this straight into second gear. Try and make it around, clipping perhaps the green curb there might be the fastest line. And then we get into a fast left-hander, into a fast right-hander, breaking somewhere around the apex and down all the way into first gear, another slow corner here. Then we'll go full throttle. And this is a very, very difficult corner to judge here. We're gonna break, try and carry as much speed as possible and catch the outside curb there. Out on the right. At the first signboard, I like to start my slow braking procedure down into second gear for the left-hander and that'll finish your lap. So not a particularly complicated track. I think it's 14 corners, uh, but really fun. Really fun, easy to learn. Nice wide runoff areas, nothing too, too difficult. So you should be able to push and learn this in a hurry. And as I say, if you can get down into the low 130s, you're doing quite well. Overtaking opportunities, I don't know. I will uh, try and find that out through the, cor through the course of this race. I'm guessing the final corner is going to be one of them. Might be one here as well. Here on the right. Although it's such a tricky corner that I'm hesitant to go too hard into that one. And will the AI break early for this left-hander? Not really. So I need to figure out how exactly to overtake. Fellow Porsche there running very similar pace, running very similar lines to where I want to be, unsurprisingly. So, yeah, I guess it'll have to be the final corner. So again, first signboard here is where I usually begin my braking. And it appears I am slightly better at it than the AI.
beautiful, beautiful course. I guess it's got flavors of Paul Ricard in it as well. I guess if I say it reminds me of every racetrack, it's technically true. <laughs> it's got the raciness. It's got, uh, you know, road and curbing and grass off the track and grandstands and pit lane, stuff like that. Car on the right. Reminds me of your favorite racing circuit. Uh, here we go, sprint race. Got a BMW to my right, can't really see him except for on the radar. He's diving to the inside, I'm gonna cut that off. Oh, I'm lying, I have done one AI race here before. I remember I tried to uh, get some B-roll and ended up getting pitted in that corner. Finally got a good line through that tricky corner. But I'm not going to have the inside line into the final corner here. Turn 14, I believe. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Yet another fastest lap. I'm still in the 135s, though, so lots of improvement to do. Not that I'm expecting to be at my practice or quality pace. cool something about seeing sparks in uh, ACC still makes me feel cool oh contact there very light but it was there on the right. sorry about your Ferrari Oh, too fast, too fast, too fast. Too fast, too furious. All right, hunting down this Nissan now. Ah, Mike, what's going on here? Not being very mindful of what I'm doing on this course. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Probably going to mess this one up as well. Nope, actually managed to hold on to it. About two seconds to the car ahead. So plenty of work to be done. To close that gap, but the good news is I should be able to get a more clear run here. This Porsche is so clean out of the corners. Just mad it. It just sticks. And that one didn't stick, but that's okay. I'm having a rough lap here, folks. I'm trying to get out of the habit of when I'm in the midst of a bad lap of trying to push to make up time because it never works out in my favor. Should be down into the 134s on this lap. If all goes well. This Nissan doesn't mess things up for me. Kind of did. But I'll still be in the 134s. That was a 133.9. No overtaking opportunity for turn one, that's for sure. Oh, really wanted that one. 
didn't work out. But I hope you guys can see. I mean, I'm supposed to be not focused so much on the race. I'm supposed to be focused on the circuit. But I hope you guys can see how cool this is. It's pretty rare in sim racing, too. I'm sure iRacing has it. Car on the right. Clear on the right. And I know there's an Aceto Corsa mod that I'm dying to try. One of these days, I'll have a go with it. But yeah, just a very, very well done version of it here in ACC. There's no bad courses in ACC, let's face it. Even if you're not a fan of it, i.e. Paul Ricard, uh, you still have to admit that they do a good job with their detailing. Ooh. Not sure how that didn't get flagged as a bad lap, but that's okay. I will take it. A little too hot there into the final corner. Has me down by about two tenths. So back into the 134s. We're past the halfway mark of this race now. Come on, Mike. Ugh. Doing okay on this lap, up about a tenth. Hasn't been pretty, but... The uh, clock is the ultimate test. The ultimate marker of beauty, perhaps. And there's been wild amounts of variance between <laughs> how fast I go through this corner here. And that time was actually pretty clean. Gained a few one hundredths of a second. Got on the right. Clear on the right. That worked out pretty well. So back into the 33s. Heard that lock up there. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go, people. Done, Lexus. I did not think I would see him again. Out on the right. Clear on the right. And I haven't updated it for a while, so I'm inside the top ten with still six minutes to go in this race, so chance for a top five here for sure. Podium, doubtful. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Almost got caught by a switch back there. A little bit of room to work with here. Should be able to catch up to that Bentley reasonably quick. Come on, girl. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Give you a little bit of understeer here, fighting the car. And 
I'm the king of missing apexes right now. Catching the bent. This should be low 34s. But I guess my main issue is that I'm not really any closer to that Bentley than I was to start the previous lap. Eh, somewhat closer, but not in striking distance anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Still fighting that understeer. That corner was brutal. Set me back like a half second. Saw that coming. This Bentley's really giving me a run for my money. Down a full second on this lap. Oof. Alright, I am not going to overshoot any corners here in this next lap. This is the lap where I close the gap. Kind of like Muhammad Ali here. Just two laps to go, so I want to get this Bentley before the end of the race. One good corner. Two. Still doing okay. Ooh, that was close. Went for it, had to go for it. Can't just sit back forever. Bit of a fight from the front wheel still. Come on. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Leader on the final lap. Come on, Mike. You got this. Right there in striking distance. Thing about it is turn one is not an overtaking spot. This is probably as close as I'm going to get. Should I go for it? Car on the right. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Still there. This is it, though. Oh! Got pitted. Clear on the right. I didn't think I turned in, but there was definitely some uh, contact there to my rear right. Almost spun me. Already pulled out a full second here, so as long as I don't mess things up too bad, should be my finish in sixth position. Not 
particularly fast through these corners, but I'll take it. Anyway, incredible racing action here at Valencia. Uh, really, ugh. Poor driving action, though. But anyway, really, really great. I'm going to sneeze, but Valencia is awesome. Uh, well done to Kunos and ACC. Thanks for watching.